are back, everyone. I had to privatize my last video because I spoke to a gentleman named Justin who just uh, right over here. Media were all over this guy's house next door. Some were thinking it was him. Some were saying no. And uh, I had the wrong house. So it's this one here. Should have known uh, because the trooper is standing out there. So we are in front of the home of Craig Ross, suspect. Suspect. Now, this guy here, Craig Ross, does not have Halloween stuff. So we are back. We are back. Come on in, everyone. Yeah, YouTube can't keep up. Dude, I don't know if you guys previously seen, but it was pretty wild because when I rolled up here, there was like 10 media outlets and they were all swarmed at the next door neighbor's home. And, you know, they were coming out. And before I went live, they were like, oh, uh, he's not there. He's not there. He's not answering his door. Uh, no one's answering the door there. He's in jail, you know, saying that no one is at his house or whatever like that. My suspicion was like, why does the dude have Halloween stuff? But it wasn't even his house. This is his house right here. This is his house right here. Number 13. This is where Mr. Craig Ross lives. All right, cool. I just gave my channel to the detectives next next door. There's uh, some detectives sitting in the vehicles there. They were like, hey, are you live streaming? I said, yep, come on in. JLR investigates. Um, but they're going to check out the channel and stuff. They said, cool, you can sit out here. Just don't go on his property. So this is what it looks like, folks. What's going on in there? We got bottles. Ladders. What kind of flag is that? The old American flag. Buckets. 
Yeah, this is home. So I'm on the corner of Solar and uh, Circle Drive. Solar and Circle Drive. I'll just show you down here. Come on in, everyone. JLR investigates. Mm -hmm. So they got the, they got an additional driveway here. Who is this dude? Who is this Craig dude? And why did he do this? What the? What in the world is that? What in the world is that? Yeah, so this is the his actual place. His actual place. They are here. Yes, they got uh, detectives in the car. I'm not gonna show their faces, but they're in the car. I was just talking, they're very cool. They're like, hey, you a live streamer? I said, ah, partially. They're like, where can I find you? I said, JLR Investigates. Yeah, it's like a double Y here, number 13. JLR Investigates, because you gotta check out my channel. And they're like, who funds you? And I said, I fund myself. So apparently we're hearing that this guy was a mailman and, you know, look at that. He got a woodpecker, woodpecker. Yeah. Thank you for the detectives. I should, I should send them uh, some uh, food right now. I don't know if they can accept anything in gifts. Hey, we should send we should send the detectives here some uh, food. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So send them some uh, coffee and donuts or something. Coffee and donuts. I should go ask if they can accept it or should I surprise them or they're fine. I don't think they can. Yeah, let me ask. Them. All right, let me go ask. Them. I'm going to ask. Them. I'm going to see if we can send them some uh, donuts and coffee. All right, guys, no coffee and donuts. Uh, they can't accept anything of value, but they do really appreciate the kind gesture. I was going to send them. I said, uh, we got support, and uh, we support you law enforcement here. We love you guys. And he said he couldn't, but he said appreciate it, and thank you very much. And they're going to check out the channel later. So my mod put in here, JLR is at, uh, Magnolia, put JLR is at the home of Craig Ross, 13 Circle Drive, Porter Corners, New York. He is the sole owner of the property and bought it in December, 2019. This is not the property where Charlotte was found. That would be his mother's property, which I um, saw, by the way, the mother, let me tell you something wild about the mother. 
So they were executing a search warrant um, at the mother's home, and there was lots of police and lots of authorities there. And the mother pulled up with, a, I, it might have been a neighbor or a relative or something like that. So the mother was in the passenger seat. There was a lady driving, and there was this younger, um, looked like teenage girl in the back seat. And she rolled up, and the lead detective inside doing the search warrant of her trailer comes out and she's like i need to get my medications i need to get my medications in the in the house whatever like that so the detective said stand by detective the lead detective because then at that point the lead detective everybody media was outside the house and the lead detective wanted everyone pushed to the side and said not in front of the house itself so he went in there and apparently got bags of uh medication and came back out and gave it to her and then made her sign some forms. There were some forms, uh, search warrant forms, or what, I don't know what it was. Um, and then she left and she went to a, another trailer complex in um, town, uh, probably about five miles away. Um, but it was very, very interesting. So the mother uh, came back, so she was there. Uh, a lot of people were asking, is the mother involved? Is the mother involved? I don't see the mother arrested. Uh, the mother could have been just totally blind from this situation. People say, hopefully the mother didn't know anything. Dustin, what's your cash app? I want to send you a, uh, a meal. Here's it. Meal? Yeah. Got cash app? Yeah. 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 All right, so the neighbor uh, next door, uh, Justin, the one I just went to the house with the trick or treat, and he said he's just subbed to the channel. And I told him uh, I'm going to send him a meal. I'm going to send him a meal. All right, so let's uh, go over here and do a little walk. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little bit of walking. Just walk up here and just see for ourselves what is going on here are they going to search the property more are they going to check this place thoroughly and then there's like some additional So the, so the um, trooper there has been out there all night. Is Look, he got a... Yeah, so apparently he was a mailman. Let me just show you the corner street on that. You guys can see we're at Circle Drive and Solar. Circle Drive and Solar. And it's somebody's burning a fire. It smells. It smells. Circle Drive and somebody's steaks like funny. So, uh, 
orange and black house number 13 and it's october just an observation it means nothing you got the smokestacks So, are they going to do what they did down there at the um, mother's house that they were just at? They had two officers blocked off. Or they had two, two officers blocking off the property. And they also had the streets blocked off on Barrett Road. Then they left Barrett Road as far as blocking off the streets. Had two state troopers or state police in front of his mom's house. All the way to about 10-something... 10 o'clock and then they swarmed in with more authorities and they came out in hazmat suits so they were searching the house in hazmat suits um similar to like rex Hewerman. remember rex Hewerman, where we saw those images they were out there digging around the property for days and you know that's something too you know officers here we don't know who this dude is was this dude involved with some other unsolved crimes or is this his first rodeo uh, what's your thoughts? Is there other unsolved crimes around here? If this guy did this once, you know, with this, could he have done this before? You know, he's in his 40s. Look disheveled. Go to Big Beard. Uh, he's a big guy. He was listed at 6'4", 270 pounds. You know, did he do it before? Should authorities start, you know, doing the sonar radar and find out if there's things on his property that might not belong there? Could there be human remains on any of these properties? You know, searching around the inside the home of his parents with hazmat suits on a kidnapping where the kid, you know, Charlotte was rescued tells me there might be some more to this. Yes or no? Okay, more authorities have arrived. Detectives are arriving. Looks like we got detectives arriving, folks. We have detectives. Detectives just arrived. So, look at this. We got something going on, folks. We got something going on. It might be going in with the warrant. It might be going in with the warrant, guys. They're going in, guys. They're going in his house. Look at this. Going in his house. These detectives, they said we got gloves. Real time, folks. Well, they can't serve him the warrant because he's in jail. He's the only one that owns and lives at the house, it is believed. I am the only journalist here in real time. Getting the exclusive right now, folks. Putting the gloves on, guys.
They're ready to go in. These guys came right in time. What's going on? They're about to go in on a warrant. Okay. This is the first time I believe they're going into the home. I am from um, Tampa, Tampa, Florida. JLR investigates. talking to uh, one give you guys the plug who are you guys with we're with cbs 6 cbs 6 so cbs 6 is the only mainstream and media only. news here at the scene me and cbs 6 are the only ones thanks for the support everyone in his hands. I think he was the same one at the at the mother's home. He was. He was. Yeah. Did I was up here last night really late and that one um or that one vehicle was there and they haven't I hadn't seen or heard and the neighbors said they hadn't executed anything to going in. Okay. I think they were securing it until they maybe finished the other one. Okay. Or I thought maybe possibly they'd be doing it at the same time. Are they still over at the mother's home? I don't know if they'll be able to make the one They are. They are. So two search warrants going on at the very same time, people. Thank you, Eileen, and thank you everyone for the support. Your support helps us get to these locations to see what goes on firsthand. JLR investigates. I am on the corner of uh, Circle Drive and Solar Drive Cornet. If I'm saying that correctly. Cornet and authorities here are about to execute a search warrant at the property of Craig Ross. The man who kidnapped well, allegedly, but we'll say he did. Charlotte Senna, nine-year-old, nine-year-old, nine years old, who was found alive.
but uh, I believe this is the first time police are entering the home. All right, so they're, they went in through the back. One went over to look at that shed. We're going to see if they come. Look, they're going in the backyard. They are looking in his backyard. state police presence still out at the scene in Milton where Charlotte was found last night at 6 30. She was found safe. Spoke with neighbors out there as well. Um, one neighbor right next to that home told us that he was not surprised. Um, something like this happened. He described Ross as an angry man. He called him a loner. in everyone jlr investigates i am at the home of craig ross and they are executing a search warrant right now a, a detectives just came here within the last 10 minutes or so and they had paperwork in their hands and they are now searching the home and property this location here in corniff is on circle drive and this is just a few minutes away from Charlotte's family's home. They don't live very far at all from this location. So, uh, we're watching this in real time, people. As some of you might or might not know, I am JLR Investigates that go to the scene of the crime. And perfect timing on this one. So what are they going to come out of, um, with? Check several residences that he's known to spend time at the scene, one of them, but I mean, it's a, it's it looks like one of those. Uh, tr it looks like a trailer with a, with the same color shed. Very quiet. Uh, neighbor next door. It's fenced. We just left um, the property in Melton. A much larger police presence out there, although. 
I'm gonna try to get over here a little bit. No, no, you're good. I'm gonna come over here and kind of show you guys a different view. The cone. Everybody wants to know about the cone. There's the cone. I'm trying to get a different angle to see what is back there. As far as the, looks like there's some sort of shed back there. It's a great question. Did he confess? Did he give incriminating statements? Did he lawyer up instantly and not speak? What is his excuse? What is his rationale for this? It's just a small, quiet community. How did this ever happen? And why didn't it happen? How long will they be here? Will they eventually come in hazmat suits? Like they did at his mom's house. His mom's trailer, they were, they had hazmat suits. Now this is his property. People, there's, there's some confusion out there. Charlotte was found at his mom's property, on his mom's property. This is his property, which is very, very close to where Charlotte lived. It's a two-minute drive. This is on Circle Drive. So they've been, they've been down there at his mom's house um, searching since light. A little, well, I would say 10 a.m.-ish. They had police presence there all night long with the roads blocked off, I think. With both searches, they waited till the next day today for it to be light. And then also maybe the judge had to sign off on the warrant or whatnot or try to get statements out of him to uh, build up that probable cause to search these properties. Um, good question. Why do they wear hazmat suits? I don't know. Thank you, everyone, for the support. So apparently what I'm hearing is, um, you know, he's in custody. He's at the county jail, no bond, one count of um, kidnapping, could be more charges. He apparently could go to court Friday, possibly for a bond hearing. Other than that, his next court hearing, I believe, is sometime in October that the judge set. But he can try for a bond hearing, I believe, Friday, but we know that he's not going to get bond. So I would assume that his lawyer, which there was a lawyer by the name of Thomas McDonald, McDonagall or something similar to that, who has signed the paperwork uh, with him. I don't know if that's going to be his public defender or whatnot. I'm assuming that the lawyer will probably waive that bond for now. I mean, one... Doesn't look like he has a lot of money. Considering the circumstance here, if there was a bond, I would say it would be in the millions.
Bobby says, Bobby Swain, nice to see you. Uh, Bobby says, $10 million bond is my guest. I would think it would be like that too. Maybe even $20 million. Um, this guy, I, I can't see how he would ever be released from custody ever again. I think he's spending the rest of his life in prison. Yes, this is where he lives. This is this is Craig Ross's house. Detectives are here. So we see a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a trooper. Thank you, you too. Take care. So CBS 6 is leaving. I'm the only person left here. No other media here. It's a big case. I see a lot of people watching. Public interest case, right? Everybody is saying the cone. We have uh, cone memes. So there you go. There's the cone. The cone here is uh, intact. What's cool is those those detectives are really nice because I was I was just speaking to them. We offered them donuts and coffee he said thank you anyway but he said no thank you but we offered them uh, donuts and coffee they really can't accept anything of value um, like that but I tried but they were very very nice and they're gonna check out the channel later so that's cool we love our law enforcement that watches JLR investigates giving you guys different angles. Just going wide for a minute to give you guys a perspective of what the his home looks like. I have my tripod over there. 
Matter of fact, let me get my tripod and uh, bring it over here, kind of prop it so we can keep it still. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, they're they're searching the home. They're searching the home. Well, I haven't really seen anyone go in yet. Yes, this is the home of Craig Ross. Coming to you live, Cornet. Like another detective has arrived. He's putting on gloves. Share this video, everyone. Um, and hit that like button. Let's get this video out there so we can share it amongst the community. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. JLR Investigates. Consider subscribing, please. And becoming a channel member, too. Watch out, there is a dog uh, stomp in the yard there. Just be careful when you're walking. I'm doing, how are you guys doing? Everybody wanted to get you guys some coffee and donuts. 
Oh, Everybody yeah. in the live stream. Donuts, I've got donuts. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, if you want we'll sandwiches. Take some, we'll take some fruit and veggies. Yeah. Will you? I mean, I'll, I'll send some. No, <laughs> I'll send whatever you guys want, man. We love our law enforcement, and, and everyone thanks you guys for solving this case. We, we appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Where are you traveling from? Florida. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got to check out the channel later. JLR oh, right. Investigates. JLR Investigates? Yeah. Where in Florida? Uh, Tampa. Uh -huh. Tampa. My I, favorite place. Tampa's beautiful. I love Florida. You go to Ybor City much? I'm not a party guy. No, 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 maybe, party. maybe, you maybe. Go there, you go there in the afternoon on the a Saturday. The Colombiana is a great. Uh, it is. So the, the restaurants and the places there are nice in the afternoon. I know, right? I do like. So you go down there like on vacay? Uh, I go down there as much as I can. My mom lives in Largo. Okay. Oh, Largo, so, Pinellas County. Yeah, yeah, that's my neck of the woods. Yeah. So I, I go down there. We'll visit her, and then I go to I go to Ybor because I love actually that place. a part owner of a business there. It's called Conservative Grounds. Have you ever heard of it? No. It's in Largo. Is it a coffee shop? Or? It's a coffee shop. Yeah. All right, I'm, Check well, it out. About? Uh, it's on Almerton. Yeah. Actually, you know what's fun? I, I saw the last time I was down there, actually. Yeah. Right, I'm, a part, I'm a part owner of that. All right. Next time I'm down there, I'll make sure I go. Yes. Uh, no, come on in and say JLR. You'll get free donuts right. and coffee. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, boss. Thank you. We love our law enforcement. We really do. So we're hearing that this guy was a mailman. They did very, very good detective work in finding this guy. Uh, through fingerprints and uh, Something to do with a vehicle and maybe cell phone pings. But just a collective effort and uh, of multiple. This looks like they're like, I mean, I'm assuming they're New York State detectives, might be county detectives working with state troopers, or these could be county detectives with state troopers just holding, holding the house down. And what's really cool, like what I like about covering, and you guys know I go to these scenes, is if you're just cool and you just step back and fall back and just stay quiet and let them do their job, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't care that you're out here. They, they're, they're actually kind and stuff, and they probably want to see themselves later on YouTube doing a fantastic job. Sun gives it a different angle. Cone alert, I know, right? Cone alert. I'm gonna see what they do. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you for the support. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Yeah, we're hearing a mailman. I am on the corner of Circle Drive and Solar Drive. Circle and Solar in Hornet. Hornet.
No, how, how, yeah. I'm, I'm reading comments. I'm going to go over here at a different angle just to show you. Like they might be going in the back mm -hmm. of the shed. And they got the photographer. Okay, he's going in a shed. Welcome to press. Thank you for becoming a member. Come on in, everyone. Welcome to media. Thank you, Katie. We don't know in real time what they're going to uncover or what they find. We don't know if they get more probable cause suspicion based off this search to come back and start digging. We just don't know what's going on. So we're just here in real time. This is real time searching their, this is the property of Craig Ross. This is his property, which is right uh, a two minute drive from Charlotte's family's home doesn't live far. This is Circle Drive. Yes, it looks like three, I've seen three structures. One right there, one back, one right there, and one right there is home. Three, I've seen three, there could be more. I don't know how far the property goes back. This is not his mother's property, this is his property.
Looks like the media has arrived. Looks like, looks like the media has arrived. More media people have arrived. Hi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. How, how, uh, what was going on the other scene? Are they wrapped up or are they still going? They're done. They're done there? Yeah. Did the mother return home? Well, I have to take a picture. What are they doing inside? There? I don't think they went in yet. There's somebody in their shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they've been in the outhouses, yeah. Um, But in the main house, they didn't go in yet, I don't think. They had paperwork and everything in their hand. Hmm. And they got a photographer too. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like they're going to go into the front, guys. The front. It looks like it. They're undoing the tape. Looks like they're going to go through the front door. Lead your way. No, no, you're good. suit that white suit is that a hazmat suit yeah. so they're ready to go in folks looks like three of them in the back came from the shed Good morning, everyone. JLR investigates at the scene right now. Craig Ross, his home. The home of Craig Ross. Share this video out. Show everyone what is going on in real time. This is the suspect. Praying for Charlotte and her family. Glad she was found alive. Yeah, he owns this property. This is his property. He owns this property, according to tax records.
Hazmat guys. Forensics. Photographer. Okay, this is the first time I've seen them gain access and gain entry. Look at the detective there. He's, he's looking in the woods. All right, they're going in. They're going in. The detective there was looking under the bush. Well, they're searching for something. More evidence. Evidence related to this case. Maybe evidence with other cases. See the detective over there? He's searching the woods. Look, they're inside. They're inside his house. You can see. I figured it was just an easy ride over here and if the other guys need me. Okay, I'll update you later. Bye. I haven't met you on Hans. JLR. JLR, nice JLR. to meet you. Where are you from, Hans? I'm from Albany. Albany. You uh just a local journalist, photographer? I didn't cover all the shit that comes out of the Capitol. Oh, politics. I usually work for the AP. Oh, the AP? Post today on Fox. Today you work for Fox. You got your own media thing? Yeah, I'm on uh, YouTube streaming. That's what the other guy said. Yeah, we got 4,000 watching right now. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, where are you at? Um, I live in Florida. Oh. I, I go all around the country a couple of times. I heard the guy say that. I used to live in Florida. Where'd you live? In Fort Lauderdale. A lot of that, yeah, expensive there. Yeah. Out of my Dania. budget. Yeah. Pompano. That's uh, Lauderdale County. Hmm? Yeah. All right, so they I are inside. Yeah, I smell nail polish. I also smell fire. It was smoking here off and on. Neighbors were totally cool. You know, when I first got here, I know that was his house on the left. Because all the neighbors were like over there. I actually went in, I was coming, going in the back and uh, the actual neighbor came home. And he's like, hey, what are you doing? 
And then he came over to me later and said, hey, can you do me a favor? You got it in my backyard. Can you take it down? I said, yeah, I'll privatize the video out of respect. Of course. But he was he was in good spirits because he was like, man, this sick dude is finally taking off the streets. And you let us stand in his backyard. Yeah, maybe. He's nice. I told him I'm gonna, I'll, he gave me his cash app. I'm going to send him a meal. Oh, that's kind of nice. Just to be nice. I'm going to send him a meal. His name is Justin. There you go. You got a new friend. Got a new friend. He also said he subscribed to the channel. Really? Yeah, he's like, what's your channel? I'm going to subscribe. He's like, I'm subscribed. That's cool. Always good to meet the neighbors. I'm going to go around the side here. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some action. All right, we're going to we're gonna walk over here. They're inside the home right now, folks. So people are just getting on. This is the home of Craig Ross Jr. Craig N. Ross Jr. He is a suspect who was arrested in connection with the kidnapping of nine-year-old Charlotte Senna. Authorities have arrived here maybe an hour or two, an hour ago. About an hour ago, detectives uh, with a warrant, and now they are inside the home. A state trooper has been out here in front of his home at least through the night. I came here about a little after midnight. And when I got here after midnight, there was a state trooper here. So assuming that they were securing the home yesterday as the situation unfolded a little after 6 p.m. yesterday, probably had to secure warrants for today and or um, do this search in the um, daytime because it is nighttime. I don't know if they would do searches like that, but we have a police presence here. There is, again, one gentleman here named Hans who is a photographer. Other than that, there's no media here, just JLR Investigate. CBS 6 was here a while ago doing a report. They left, so we're watching this in real time, folks. What will come out? What will they bring out? Let me get my tripod. I'm going to go over here and get my tripod in position because they might bring some stuff out also they might bring dogs we don't know we don't know what they're gonna bring we don't know what's gonna they're gonna uncover out of this home um is there other crimes that craig is involved with my tripod over and then we're just going to perch and wait maybe they'll come out with bags maybe they'll come out with some evidence we just don't know maybe they come out empty handed maybe they come out empty handed um, I asked everyone in chat earlier is there other unsolved crimes in the similar fashion in this area in the new york area is there any unsolved crimes people speculate well this guy did this maybe he did it before maybe he did it before are we talking about another rex huerman type of guy We're just going to sit here and we're going to wait and see. You know what unfolds here. Be right back. I'm going to get my battery charger. So I'm just going to keep it here for a second and we'll see what they come out with.
Hi guys, I'm back. He went and sat in his car. We'll see, uh... We'll see what comes out of this. Oh, saw him in the window. So it looks like all the detectives are in there right now. They're just searching around, gathering evidence. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm just doing it. I don't know. It, it, you know, it costs a lot to travel sure. and do this and stuff. It's just a passion sure. to try to help and travel. share. Everybody else. Yeah, exactly. Where is everyone else? <laughs> That's what I've been asking. Like, you got a lot of media outlets. Where are they? You got a, a warrant going down on a national case. I'm sure your bosses will appreciate you. You feel antsy like me. You... Kevin Downs. Mr. Downs, are you... Yeah, it's my second day. Thank you. Yeah, second day. So I hear something up in the woods. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're collecting. So guys, I would have went live at the other location of his mother, but that location had literally zero Verizon cell, cell phone reception. I couldn't even get one bar. And it was just, it was, it would come and then it would go and it would just mostly go. And so I made videos. So you could check out the videos there that I posted.
Good question about the drone. Um, okay, see, look, they're in that window. See the window? Hazmat is in the window. Yeah, they're going to do that. What do you think is in this guy's home? Seriously, what do you think they're looking for? Okay, I could see flashes inside. Thank you for the support. I see photography flash. See that? Flashes inside. Taking pics. Snap, snap. Snap, snap. What about this guy's digital evidence? Right. This is his house. For people um, are just jumping on, I will say this again, and I'll, I, I'll, I'll keep saying it for people that are maybe confused. This is his home. Charlotte was found at his mother's property about 20 minutes away to the south. This is his home here. He lives here. This is only about a two-minute drive, if that, to the family of uh, Charlotte's home. This is Circle Drive. Charlotte was found on his mom's property on Barrett Road. So authorities... Just about an hour or so ago, a little over an hour ago, came here with warrants to search this home here. And JLR just happened to be here when it all went down. Imagine that. Yes, this is his home. So will they come out with bags? Will they come out with any evidence? Will they continue the search? How long will they be here for? Uh, someone said they're taking pictures of the wall. Is he the type of guy that got newspaper clippings hanging around all over the wall? One of those type of guys. I don't know. Have you guys seen um, his mugshot? Have you guys seen his mugshot? I'm getting kind of uh, Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter type of vibes here, right? Computers. Most of you concur. Anybody in this chat think he's innocent? Anyone in the chat think he's innocent? Speak up. Let's hear your uh, reasons. Do you think the guy is innocent? No way, no way, no way, nope.
So they're in there. They're in there. About six detectives and a hazmat suit guy, all in white. Taking pictures there. What's going to come out of this? Come on in, JLR investigates. So any new information, does anyone have any new information on this guy while they're searching his home? What have you guys heard on Craig Ross? I personally seen his mother get served with paperwork. I put a picture on my Twitter of account at JLR Investigates. Go check it out. Who is he? Yeah, that's, that's what, uh... This is usually how it rolls. Uh, sovereign citizen, JLR, can you look into the suspicious disappearance of Brittany Wallace out of Washington State. All right, authorities are coming out. What do they got? Heard the door close. Are they done for the day? like nothing. It's like those detectives are leaving. We're getting in their car. We're going back to the car. Are they leaving? Looks like they are. They could be here for a while. This could be a preliminary look. This could have just been a formality. Or this is over.
Miss Kirby, Craig Ross suffers with multiple sclerosis. Probably the medication was for him as my cousin suffers the same thing. He moved in with his mom four weeks ago as it got worse. Thank you for the information, Miss Kirby, and thank you for the support. be done with this house for now. like they're out of here guys so we watched the warrant go down Be over, guys. I didn't see anything come out. Did you guys see anything come out? Even the troopers leaving. Are they done this whole location? Is this whole location over? Everybody might be going home, folks. That means he's no longer this this home is no longer a crime scene. No more tape on here, no more anything. They very well might be going. It's like they might be done. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the trooper moved because of their they're doing the search right
Come on in everyone, JLR investigates. I'm outside the home of Craig Ross. Suspect. Search warrant. Done at this home last hour and a half. I am here seeing what's going on. Craig doesn't live too far away from Charlotte's family. Might be done. Will the trooper go back up and perch himself at that spot? We'll see. Yeah? I gotta get some. Like they're done. Bye, thank you. All right, detectives are leaving. Oh, even the troopers leaving. Everyone's leaving. His home has been officially cleared. We got a big mailbox, folks. Big mailbox. Had a frisbee in his yard. So here it is. JLR investigates. I am at the home of Craig Ross, his actual home. They searched the home, 
there was a trooper out here all night long and now no one is here somebody just came someone just came this could be his son oh this could be his son How are you, how are you holding up? Joshua? How are you holding up? So what's going on? I mean, this was a nine year old girl. I'm not on your property. What's going on? It was an, it was a nine year old girl. What's going on? So what happened? What happened? So the one front guy, his name was Joshua, that was his uh, son, I believe. So they arrived after they... So they're at their dad's home, I believe. So, this is his home. He lives here by himself. So his children, now that the crime scene has been released, I'm, I'm assuming children, maybe the, at least the first yeah. guy, I don't know who the female was, um, his son the, uh, has came to his house right right after the police released the crime scene. As the, as the police were all out here, uh, they left believe that's his son arrived right. now his son is in his house his son does not live here that I know of um, people told me he lives here all by himself and we're talking about Craig Craig living here all by himself his son I do not believe in now he could stay here once in a while possibly All right, well, I don't think it, they don't want to talk, obviously, so I'm not going to ask them anything else or say anything to them. If they want to talk, they're more than welcome to contact JLR Investigates and we'd love to hear their insight about what's going on. Doesn't hurt to ask. Doesn't hurt to ask. So, I mean, that's the situation of what's going on. It was a nine-year-old girl, nine-year-old Charlotte Senna, nine years old. Very sad situation. And we are so glad that she was found. I can understand what they're going through too because they're probably just as shocked. But sometimes, you know, sons and siblings, they have some insight about perpetrators. So doesn't hurt to ask. What do you want? Oh, I was out here when they were, um, the, uh, the authorities, they were out here searching. 
I've been out here covering the search. Well, I was here. Do you live here? Do you? Well, I'm, I'm asking if you live here. I mean, if do you live here? Yeah, I do. You live here. Yeah. Okay. So authorities were here searching. I was covering the search. I mean, this is a national case. Any. Yes. Yeah. I don't care what you do. Obviously, I don't want to be harassed. Yeah. I don't want to have a video cam. Obviously, yeah. it's, it's, it's your amendment right. I am 100% aware of that. You can videotape. You're on a public road. I am 100% aware of that. All right? But he's in jail. We want nothing to do with him. I can give a fuck if the dude dropped him tomorrow. I oh, so. What, would you mind coming out and saying that, and just so the public, so so the public, you know, maybe just come out here. And sh it right there. It's hard to hear. Could you just, could you just come down and say how you're feeling? No, I just told you how I'm feeling. So you're saying you want nothing to do with him? No, he's my, no, no, no. He's disgusting. He's gross. He's, 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 he should die. I can care less. That's that's about how I think. All right. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Thank you. Praying for you. You have a great day. Thank you. All right. Got. As we said, sometimes you persist. You get some information. He wants nothing to do with his uh, dad. He said he hopes his dad D I eats and stuff. And I am going to leave. So. Um, the search is over, family, you know, he, that's his son, that's his daughter, they're upset. Um, don't know what the daughter feels about the father, but the son was like, no, he is, wants nothing to do with it. So, could you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Awesome. All right, guys, JLR Investigates, I am signing off. We'll talk soon. Um, I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to go to the park in a little bit. So um, we will talk soon. Have a great day, guys.